Hi, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what's coming through for you at this time. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Wow. Someone's on fire for you. Holy crap. So all of these are wands except for the temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. But it's in your position, so it's like the cold shoulder. So someone, hang man, under the deck, wants to, look what they want though. Ace of Wands is what they want with you. So it's like they're tired of waiting or they're tired. They want to send messages to you, but you're not super receptive, I don't think. You may be. But what they're hoping for is the Ace of Wands. person doesn't know what to do they don't know what to do to either get you back win you back win you over get your attention fix this with you whatever the situation is with you so on one hand they can hold back maybe they've been maybe they're waiting for you to make the next move possibly sometimes when i see stuff like this like but they're they're not procrastinating they're not that yet of sores they just like don't know what to do like they they aren't done they don't want to quit they don't want to give up on this but they're not sure what to do next is kind of what I'm seeing here. Eight of Wands, Chariot, the Sun, Four of Wands. Three of Coins under the deck. So this person wants to come towards you. They want to work this out. They want to make you happy. Um, gosh, this could mean home. This could mean car. This could mean working things out. This might be a twin flame for some of you or a Cancer or a Leo. But you're going to receive messages about what they want to do next. So your person is going to send messages. So they haven't given up. They're just not really sure how you feel. What is this temperance energy? Tower, the two of coins, and the five of cups. This is really going to trigger you. Okay, so this person's going to tell you something that's going to, and not necessarily in a bad way, but it is going to like touch your heart or your soul or something, tower. Now it could be them feeling this way. Maybe you're gonna, maybe they're gonna say something that's gonna surprise you. Maybe they're gonna open up finally because maybe they're deciding like the two of wands that they have to do something different. They can't keep holding back. They have to choose a different path. That's why the sun is shining on this wand or that one of them, the wand. It's showing them a different way of doing things. This person is, I think, being broken down in a sense so that they can change how they're do it like they're talking to you. They need to open up. They need to share their feelings. They need to do what's uncomfortable. So actually, actually, as I'm talking, this is them. This isn't you. That's good. I was thinking this might trigger you and put you in a tailspin or something upsetting, but no, I think it's them. I think it's going to be surprising because you're going to receive a message that's very different than what you've heard from them in the past. They may be having, I'm going to say breakdown, but I'm going to put that in quotes. I don't think it's an actual meltdown, breakdown type of thing. It's the Tower Five of Cups, but it's definitely a breakthrough. Maybe that's a better word. So it could be very different messages, and it could come in a text. See, it could come, it's just going to be different than what you're expecting. Because this is what's in the hidden position, and it may be a challenge to you when you hear this, what they have to say to you, because they're going to bear their soul. They're going to tell you exactly what they've been thinking and if you've never heard them talk this way, if you've never known them to open up, it might be very surprising. So this person, wow, has done all kinds of bad behavior possibly as well. Five of Swords and the Five of, I'm sorry, Five and the Seven of Swords has left them out in the cold. Yeah. So they may tell you that they're feeling out in the cold and how they got here was because of their past bad behavior. When I get both the five and the swords, five of swords, why can't I say this? Five of swords and the seven of swords together, it's always telling me bad behavior. Sometimes one is okay, you know, it could be something hidden, but when they both come at the same time, it always tells me um, there's been bad behavior. And um, hiding things doesn't help. Being coy with you hasn't helped. King of Wands, please. Yeah, see? And Strength card, having to speak their mind. It's difficult. They don't want to. It feels, you know, to them very uncomfortable. But they're going to come in and they're going to change the way they've been acting or talking to you and reveal something to you. Because up until now... 
Now let me do one more card for the Seven of Swords because I'm having another question. Yeah, they've been a player. Strength. Okay, they may own up to some things. Jim, and I remember just now that you had a reading a couple weeks ago. There was something they had to tell you and they were afraid to tell you. And that's what I'm seeing here. And I remember that now because I'm seeing the cards. Something they did. They didn't want to tell you this. They didn't want to admit to it because they knew that it would probably be upsetting to you. But I think that has already come out in the open. If it has not, then it's going to come out in the open this week or, you know, within the next week or two. This could also be the fallout from that the conversation. Because you can see here, they're worried because there have been some, you know, things that they've done. But now they know that they have to tell you what they truly, really feel for you in order to even have a chance with you, in order to even fix this with you, to grow this with you. You have the seven of coins, three of swords. I, you know what I feel like right now? It's when somebody's going to tell the truth and they know that it could go really bad and this could be the end of it, but they have to face like justice. They have to do the right thing, say what's happened, and then you're going to decide. And I feel this pit in their stomach. I feel the energy of what if this is it with Gemini? What if it's over after I tell them this? What if they never want to see me again or talk to me again? And all of this, everything I've Everything we've had up until this time is done, thrown away. Heartbroken, yeah. Confused. Heartbroken, confused, wanting to move forward, moving forward, but they're still stuck on you. And it is crazy because I do feel this knot in my stomach. I When I pick up this person, I feel this, these like butterflies, but it's a not, it's like the anxiety feeling of what's going to happen once I tell Gemini this, once I reveal this. You've been confused about some things that have happened or how this person's been acting. Um, you're going to get that clarity. And I think it's really, really important. Okay, let me go to the, the deck that tells you kind of like what you can expect out of this conversation, what you can, um, what's going to happen next. This is faded, but you're gonna need some sort of boundaries around this connection. It says firm boundaries are needed now, but this is a faded partnership or debt. As you know, I don't always go by what's written on the card, but I feel like this conversation and what's going down right now is faded. I feel like you're gonna take some time away from this person, a week or so, maybe longer. But I feel like they needed to say all this to you. I think that was part of the karma. You may probably know what's going on. You may know this conversation's coming. You know what they have to tell you. Maybe you're gonna, um, I, I feel like this is kind of like past, but this conversation they're having with you, having to open up and tell you the truth, is part of their, is part of their like destiny in a sense, faded destiny, like it's something they have to do. It's, it's, all right, let me go to this deck. I'm having a little bit of trouble talking here. So let me just, okay, let me do, let me do the card to do the talking for me. Because, yeah, they feel like a fool for losing you. One day they believe you guys are going to be together again. And they know they failed you and let you down big time. So your person's having a hard time with um, what to say, how to articulate this, how to express their feelings. That may be why they're um, in this. They have to, they, I don't know. I have a hard time articulating what's going on here. Because I know that they need to express how they feel. It's part of their karma. It's part of what they're meant to learn. They feel like the nights are long without you. They feel like you deserve so much more than what they could give at the time. And you made them see a side that they've grown to hate. That right there probably was the whole meaning behind this relationship. You made them grow, Gemini. It's like you didn't let them get away with anything they see this about themselves. I also have a feeling, a lot of times I see this in readings, a player will play a lot of different people and then they'll finally meet that one and they actually fall in love, but that person is there to, to mirror what they've done to other people back to them. And usually that person isn't gonna fall in love or is gonna decide they don't, you know, they wanna, don't wanna move forward. So it's up to you. It's your choice what you wanna do, Gemini, but it is interesting how this is kind of playing out because now this person, I think, is really, really scared to lose you. But they're going to try this new way of communicating with you and telling you how they feel or what happened or they're just going to open up. What is going on here? There is an opportunity here. It's going to be unexpected. But you can actually be playful. Okay. 
So you may not take this as hard as they think. You may already know about this. You may be like, you know what? I wasn't expecting them, but I'm okay with this. I've moved past it. I'm glad they opened up. So this deck is actually showing you, this may not be as you know hard or difficult as, it's more on them than you. It's their karma to fix this or tell you this. So I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.